How's it going, my logical listeners? This is Adam the DJ Dude with a new series called the iPad Music Series. So in this series, I'm going to be talking about some of the tools that I use on the iPad to make music, uh, whether it be, you know, in the studio, in a coffee shop, in a park, wherever it may be, I take my iPad with me and I can do all kinds of different things. Um, so the first app that I'm going to be talking about is one that I use in my, like a lot of my in-studio DJ sets. And it's what I use to make a lot of my beat loops and that kind of thing that I used to scratch over. And that is going to be, as you can see below the Novation Launchpad application. So this is an app obviously by Novation that mimics their MIDI controller for Ableton. Uh, so this actually mimics the Ableton session view in a lot of ways. Uh, you have your vertical columns are essentially your instrument tracks. Um, in the layout here, the first two columns uh, are generally in most of the sound packs that are available are going to be drums. The third one is most of the time going to be a bass. And when I say most of the time, occasionally it'll change up, but it in 99% of the sound packs that I've purchased, it's all the same type of layout. Uh, so your third column is going to be all of your bass lines. Uh, your, the next three are all synth and melodic um, synths. Occasionally you will have some additional percussion in those columns. Um, and then the last two are generally different sound effects, one shot sound effects. Uh, there will occasionally be some sample of uh, some vocal samples in there, that kind of thing. Um, but each of these sound packs are set up very similarly so that it doesn't matter which one you switch to, you're going to be, you know, knowing where you're at kind of thing. Um, what I like about this is that you can change up the pads. Um, you don't have to play them all the way across. So like in Ableton, uh, when you tap on, you know, a pad, it'll obviously start, you know, instruments. Well, you also can start an entire row like in Ableton you can start an entire row which can be you know if you've ever messed around with the Ableton session view you know that your horizontal rows are your different parts of your song so or in this case you can actually switch this and use each row as its own individual song you can blend them together um, it's you can do some really cool stuff with this application um, so you can trigger them one at a time or you can swipe your finger across the row and trigger them all. Um, it'll trigger all the loops, I will say. The one shots will not trigger when you run your finger all the way across. Now, just like in the Ableton session view, you can only run one sample in each column at a time. Okay, so horizontally, you can run them all, but vertically, you can only run one at a time. So this is a great way that I actually use this to kind of mix the different sections together and then continue on. So I'll let it go and then I'll bring in all this. I'll leave, you know, bass and the drum from the previous song. And then all of a sudden I'll start the whole thing. Um, so I'll do a completely different video of me actually making one of my tracks live just to kind of show you how I do it. Um, so that'll be a different video. This is more or less just a review and an overview. So on, but as far as this, uh, you can affect filters. So you have a high pass and a low pass filter. Uh, so this is obviously you're going to affect, uh, uh, you're going to filter out the base, then you're going to filter out the high end. So you can use this for each instrument track. You have filters. You, can all, you also have volume. And then you have an effect section. The effect section is really cool. Uh, this is an overall effect. It's not for each individual track column. It's for an overall. Uh, but you have different stutters. You have a flanger, gators, auto filters, a stopper, and delays that you can play with. Um, this adds a lot of color to your tracks. So you can you can change where your effects are set up. So if you would rather have, you know, say a delay over here, you can change it to a delay. 
you know, or if you wanted an auto filter here, you can change it to an auto filter. So you can change how your effects are set up. You can also change how your pads are set up. So you can actually pull samples from any of your sound packs that you have purchased from the Launchpad store. So if you want a different drum from a different you know, sound pack, then you can go through here and find all the drums and change it over um, to give it a different flair, you know, give it a different sound. Uh, so say you like all the melodies from the sound pack, but you want to change up the drums, you can do that. Um, you also have options um, that you can, that it has an audio importer function that you can purchase. It's an additional purchase in the store. But the audio import function, what that does is that allows you to actually import your own sound and samples and that kind of thing. So you can lay out a bunch of samples, you know, say using Ableton, export all your samples out, load them into this, and you can take your iPad instead of having to haul your computer, controllers, audio interfaces, all that kind of stuff. That's all you need. That's it. I can stick it in my cargo pocket of my shorts. You know, that's uh, that's all you need. Um, is an iPad. I use the iPad for so much. It's such an overlooked tool in the music community. I guess people just don't take it seriously enough. But I, I'm a fan of the technology. You know, I'm an older DJ. I have carried around all the equipment over the years, the multiple record bags, you know, turntables, CDJs, samplers. I, I've carried around and set up all the equipment. Uh, I'm tired and old. I'm just going to be honest with you on that. That's why I like the portableist movement. I like everything to be modular, small, compact. I can throw my entire setup in a backpack and carry it with me, you know, aside from, you know, PA system, which I have a briefcase style PA system that I carry around that weighs like 30 pounds for the whole thing, you know, either way. But the iPad is a very versatile tool. And this application is one of those powerful tools that you can use. So I'm going to talk a little bit about, um, so here you have your dashboard. Uh, this shows you the different projects that you have available. You can create new projects or you can edit existing projects. Um, these are all based off of sound packs that I have purchased. Again, all these sound packs are like $1.99. I've seen a couple for 99 cents here or there. Um, but it comes with a few stock ones, uh, like all these down here at the bottom, like everything from where it says breaks, drum and bass, dubstep, hip hop, house, house two, tech house and trance. Those are all stock, uh, projects that come with the program. The program itself, um, is free on the app store. Yeah. You just go and purchase all the sound packs. That's how they're making their money with it. Um, which it works because I buy a lot of the sample packs. Um, it's got some really great sounds involved with it. Um, also in here is where you can go and access all the recordings that you've done. So I've done a few recordings here for, you know, soundtracks for YouTube channel and I've done some stuff for uh, scratch videos, that kind of thing. Um, you also have a tip section, which kind of gives you like, you know, how you can use the application. This is actually a really useful little tool to get you started. So that's all up under here on the dashboard. You got your tips and then you've got settings, uh, which gives you all the background, all the settings. You can actually set this up with Ableton link, um, which is really cool. So you can use this with Ableton live. Uh, you can also do a MIDI sync output to use this with external hardware. Um, there, uh, the Novation, uh, actually like the Launchpad minis work really well with this. Uh, I had one for a little bit, ended up selling it. I just needed some extra cash, but, um, ended up selling it. It was cool, but I just, you know, I, I like using the iPad by itself. You know, it's got a touchscreen. That's what it's for. Um, kind of over, you know, having to have pads and that kind of thing. I, you know, I like using the technology. It's pretty fun. So, um. You also have the store. So in the store is where you can go and purchase all of your sound packs. 
So these are all the different sound packs. You know, you ha you can break them down on whatever kind of different genre you're looking for. It it's got it. You know, you've got all kind of different stuff that you can get. And when you purchase these sound packs, like I showed you before, you can actually you know move the sounds around. So if you've got one, say EDM pack that you like the drums and the bass from and you've got another EDM pack that you like the melodics from and you want to mesh those together, you can create a new project and put all of your own samples together. I'll actually show you how you can do that real quick. So you can go into projects. Oop. Let's try that again. And we can create an empty project, a project from sound packs, or it gives you the option to get free sound packs. So if you go and you create an empty one, you can title it. We'll just call this one test. All right. So now I have a completely empty project. So what I can do is I can go into my pad edits and I can just start adding stuff. So I can bring in, you know, that kick I can bring in you know whoop, there we go and I can just start adding stuff so now here I can go over here and I can go find a base so let's say I want that baseline you know so you can build your own pack which is really awesome now you can again purchase the audio importer solution for this which is I think is $6.99 uh, you can purchase that and import your own samples which is also a really handy little function. So you can create, you can do all kinds of stuff with this application. It's a very versatile app. It allows you to a lot of creative ability. I can't speak enough about it. So instead of continuing to ramble on about it, I'm going to suggest that you go and download it on your iPad and you play with it yourself. This application is also available on the iPhone and the iPod. I don't use it much on those devices because the screen is small and it's kind of weird to mess with on those devices. So I like it on the iPad. It's plenty, plenty of space on the screen. It's highly versatile, an amazing application. If you don't have an iPad, there's a link in the description for one. You can buy it from Amazon just like you buy everything else. Um, instead of, you know, $400 on some little MIDI controller or something that you're only going to be able to use for one purpose, my minimalistic thought is is to buy one device for many purposes, which the iPad is that solution. I can do everything from check my email to write a track on it. And I can seriously fit it into a cargo pocket in my shorts or a backpack or something. It's an iPad. It can go anywhere. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, keep watching for more of these videos. Uh, the next one, I'm going to be talking about Tractor DJ, so um, which is the main DJ application that I use with the iPad. So stay tuned for that. So anyway, guys, as always, be cool, be real, abide, and always listen logically.